now let us discuss here about classifications of binary codes so binary codes are mainly classified into several types they are first one is weighted code second one is non weighted code third one is cyclic code fourth one is sequential code fifth one is self complementing code sixth one is error detection and error correction code and the last one is alpha numeric code in this video we are going to discuss about all these codes one by one the first one is weighted codes weighted codes so the name itself specifies the meaning here the value depends upon the positional weights the value depends upon the weights here the best examples for the weighted codes are binary numbers and b series numbers uh, the best examples for the b series notation are 8421 notation and 2421 notation so what is the first one binary number binary number so we may have different types of binary numbers if we consider a 2 bit binary number then the notation is 21 if we consider a 3 bit binary number then the notation is 421 if we consider a 3 bit binary number 4 bit binary number then 8421 if we consider a 5 bit binary number then the notation is 168421 so here all the numbers here the corresponding value depends upon the positional weight so let us take the example of 7 let us represent 7 using a 5 bit binary number then we can write here as 0011 111 so for one here in place of 16 we have 0 in place of 8 0 next 4 to 1 means 111 so 0 plus 0 plus 6 Four plus two plus one is nothing but seven only, and the next one is, and the next one is B C D notation. So B C D stands for B C D stands for binary coded decimal. So a decimal number is coded. A decimal number is represented in binary form using B C D notation. Okay, uh, let us uh, the best examples for the B C D notation are. Eight four two one and two four two one. So let's take a number called seven. So here the decimal digit seven is represented with the help of four bits. Each decimal digit is represented by four bits. So seven means sum of four to one. So simply we have to place zero in eighth position. Let us represent forty five in B C notation. Here four is one decimal digit. Five is another decimal digit. So for representing four, we require four bits. So in place of fourth position, we need to place one. Next remaining position zero. Next five. Again for representing five, we require four bits. So zero. So five means sum of four and one. So forty-five is represented in BC notation likewise. So each decimal digit is represented with the help of the four bits. So this is about a weighted code. So the best examples for the weighted code are. binary and bcd so binary means we may have any number of bits bcd means four bits so 8421 2421 2, so those two are the best example for representing each decimal digit we require four bits now let us see about non weighted code so the name itself specifies the meaning here the value doesn't depends upon any positional weight the value doesn't depends upon any weight the best examples for the non weighted code are Xs three and grey code. So these two are the best examples. Xs three means simply we have to add three to the decimal digit. So let the number is seven. How we can represent seven in B C notation? So for representing each digit, we require four bits. So seven means zero triple one. Next in B C note in Xs three notation. So seven means simply we have to add three. So seven plus three means Ten. So how we can represent ten? One zero one zero, one zero one zero. So let the number is forty two. So forty two. So forty two in XS three notation is simply we have to add three to each digit. So four plus three means seven. Two plus three means five. So seven seven. How we can represent seven? Seven means zero triple one. So five means I'm sorry. Seven means four plus two plus one. Yeah, zero triple one. So five means zero one zero one. So zero triple one zero one zero one. 
So excess 3 means simply we have to add 3 to each and every digit. Next one is gray code. So let the number is like this 1010. So the, uh, uh, this is a binary number. So we can convert this binary number to gray code like this. We have to keep the first bit as it is. And the next bits are nothing but exclusive or operation. 1 exclusive or 0 means what? 1. So we have to write that one here. Next to 0 exclusive or 1 means 1. We have to write that one here. 1 exclusive or 0 means 1. So we have to write that one here. So let us take one more number. So 0, 0, 1, 1. So we have to write MSB as it is. Next bit is exclusive or. So 0 exclusive or 0 means 0. 0 exclusive or 1 means 1. 1 exclusive or 1 means 0. So here uh, excess 3 code as well as gray code doesn't depend upon any weights. Okay. Here we don't have any weights like 8421, 2421. So this is about uh, 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 non-weighted codes. Now let us see about uh, cyclic code. Cyclic code. So what is a cyclic code? So cyclic code means if you take uh, successive binary numbers, successive binary numbers, Successive means continuation one by one. Successive binary numbers differs from each other, differs from each other by one bit position. By one bit position. The best example for the successive cyclic code is gray code. Gray code. So let us take any two successive numbers. Let us take three and four. Let us take three and four. How we can represent three in binary notation? So 3 means 8421 notation. 3 means 0011. Now we have to convert this number into the gray code. Why? Because here gray code is the best example for the cyclic code. So we have to keep 0 as it is. 0 exclusive or 0 means 0. 0 exclusive or 1 means 1. 1 exclusive or 1 means 0. So 3 gray code means 0010. Next to 4 gray code means 4 means 010100 in binary notation. So how to convert this binary number to gray code? 0. 0 exclusive or 1 means 1. 1 exclusive or 0 means 1. 0 exclusive or 0 means 0. So 0, double 1, 0. If we, if we observe these two binary numbers, these two binary numbers differs by only one bit position. The remaining bits are same only. 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. These two are differ by only one bit position. One position. Let us take any numbers. Uh, but we need to consider successive binary numbers. Let us take 7 and 8. So how to represent 7 in binary notation? 7 in binary notation means 0, triple 1. So what is the gray code here? So 0, 0 exclusive or 1 means 1. 1 exclusive or 1 means 0. 1 exclusive or 0. 1 exclusive or 1 means 0. So 0, 1, 0, 0. So 0, 1, double 0. Let us, let us represent 8 in gray code notation. So 8 in binary notation is 1, 3, bull 0. What is the gray code here? 1. 1 exclusive or 0 means 1. 0 means 0. 0. So 1, 1, double 0. 1, 1, double 0. If you consider here, so these two are differs by only 1 bit position. So remaining bits 1, double 0, 1, double 0. They are same only. So this is called as cyclic code. The best example for the cyclic code is gray code. Now let us see about sequential code. Sequential code means if we consider any binary number, if we consider any binary number, then the corresponding decimal number, then the corresponding binary number decimal number is 1 greater than its previous number. Okay. Uh, the best examples are 8421 XS3 code. Let us uh, take 8421 code. So let us take 0, 1, 2, 3. So 0 means all zeros. So 1 means 3 will 0, 1. So 2 means 0, 0, 1, 0. So 3 means 0, 3 means what? 0, 0, 1, 1. If you take this binary number 3, so this binary number, if you take this one, so what is the decimal equivalent? 3. So that 3 is 1 greater than its previous number. If you take 2, the 2 is greater than its previous binary number 1. If you take 1, so 1 is greater than, 1 is 1 greater than its previous number. Likewise, excess 3 also in excess 3. Likewise, we may have several uh, uh, sequential code, but these two are the best examples. So if you take any binary number, then the corresponding binary number decimal number must be 1 greater than its previous binary number, decimal number. So 3 means it is 1 greater than its previous number 2. So 2 means 1 greater than its previous number 1. So 1 means 1 greater than its previous number that is 0. Okay. Uh, 8421 and XS3 are the best examples for the sequential code. Now let us see about uh, 
self complementing code self complementing code means if you take uh, any uh, any number if you take the best example for the self complementing code is xs3 code so we have to calculate one's complement of the xs3 so the definition is very very simple one's complement of xs3 code gives gives nine's complement of nine's complement of same number same number let us consider zero so what is zero in xs3 notation xs3 means simply we have to add 3 so 0 plus 3 means what 3 so how we can represent 3 here 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 okay so what is the ninth com here one's complement of xs3 code what is the one's complement of the 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 one's complement means zeros are replaced by ones ones are zero replaced by zero gives ninth complement of the same number what is the ninth complement of 0 simply we have to subtract 9 from that number 9 so 9's complement of the same number so here 9 means what is the xs3 for the 9 so 9 means uh, simply we need to add 3 why because xs3 means we have to add 3 so 9 plus 3 means 12 so 12 in binary notation means what 110 if you observe these two so these two are equal okay so one's complement of xs3 code gives ninth complement of the same code let us take one more example let us take 4 what is the xs3 for 4 4 means 4 plus 3 4 plus 3 means 7 7 means 0 3 1 1 what is the ones complement of 0 3 1 1 3 0 1 3 0 so this it, it will gives ninth complement of the same number what is the ninth complement of 4 9 minus 4 means 5 so 9 minus 4 means what 5 so what is 5 in xs3 notation 5 in xs3 notation means 5 plus 3 8 so 1 3 bull 0 so these two are equal okay so one's complement of xs3 code one's complement of xs3 code gives ninth complement of the same number so 9 minus 4 means 5 so 5 in xs3 notation is what 8 okay uh, so that is about self complementing code the best example for the self complementing code is xs3 code and the next one is error detection and error correction code so error detection codes are mainly useful while detecting the errors so source sends data to the destination so there may be a possibility that during transmission some bits may be uh, lost some bits may be changed so we can detect the errors by using with uh, uh, parity approach error detection is done with the help of parity here we have two types of parity even parity and odd parity even parity means the binary number should contains even number of ones odd parity means the binary number should contain odd number of ones even parity means even number of ones odd parity means odd number of ones error correction means in addition to detecting the errors we can also correct the errors so that is possible with the help of the hamming code hamming code now let us see about the last one that is alpha numeric code alpha numeric code means we can represent both alphabets as well as numbers so we have uh, two, uh, two types of alpha numeric code yasci as well as abc abc bic okay so by using these two notations we can represent alphabets as well as numbers okay uh, yasci stands for american standards code for information interchange american standards code for information interchange <laughs> whereas ebc dic stands for extended binary code for decimal uh, information change decimal interchange code <laughs> extended binary coded decimal interchange code yasci stands for american standards code for information interchange so this is about classification or uh, types of binary codes